Hey guys, this is Christina from Modern Flower Creation and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Glaminator by Zyron. I'm going to show you guys how to foil. So the Glaminator can do three things. It can foil, it can do cold lamination and also thermal lamination. The star is what foils the wavy line is the thermal and then the snowflake one is cold lamination. So for this um, tutorial, you will need transfer foil you'll need your glaminator you'll need your design printed in black and white to make sure you are using a laser printer because it will not work with regular inkjet inkjet printer you definitely need a laser printer for this now once you have your design printed through your laser printer you will need the transfer foil and you can use whatever color you would like um, but i'm choosing red and green and you will put that inside of the transfer carrier. So that's the transfer carrier and that's what you will need because you will put the cardstock paper inside the transfer carrier along with the transfer foil and you will feed it through the laminator. So now I am just making sure that the transfer foil does not move. Um, so I am just kind of holding it tight uh, and placing it on the actual design. So I want the flower to be foiled, not the lettering at all. Um, so that's why I kind of took a little bit. Um, but now I'm going to feed it through the laminator, And this does take a little while. Um, however, not too long. Just be patient. Uh, but as you're waiting for your design to be foiled, you can definitely be printing another design. You can look at other colors because um, Zyron offers a variety of colors when it comes to transfer foil. They just have an abundance of colors. So that's pretty neat because the possibilities, the color possibilities are endless. And if you can think of a color, they will for sure have it. Um, so now that it has gone through, we will open the transfer carrier uh, to make sure that the foiling worked. And as we can see, it worked um, for sure. So it worked really nicely. Got some red roses and some green uh, roses as well. So super, super pretty. I loved how these turned out. So as you can see, the foil is super pretty. I still cannot get over how beautiful the foil looks on that. Um, so you can do this to literally anything that you can think of. You can do some really nice Christmas cards. Um, you can make some birthday cards, greeting cards, get well cards. I mean, the possibilities here are endless. You, you really can do about anything. You can foil anything you like, as long as it's cardstock and make sure that it's on texture paper. So I love how these came out, super, super pretty. So now we are moving on to the next project. Now I'm using three colors for this one, so three different transfer foils. So I'm using silver, green, and red, and I'm just cutting different strips of foil. So we're gonna start with the silver, um, and then I'm gonna use some green and then some red. I also used some leftover from the previous project. I didn't wanna waste any foil, um, but that's up to you. Now, this is my first time using or doing it in three different colors. I wasn't sure how it would turn out, but I think it turned out really nicely. So, um, again, you're going to make sure that you put your design uh, and then the transfer foil on top and then the carrier sheet. So, make sure your design and the foil is in, so is in be between the, the transfer uh, carrier sheet. So, you're just going to feed it through the laminator. And then you will have your design and it's going to be in three different colors. How cool is that? So I was not expecting it again to be this beautiful, but it turned out super, super nice. Uh, let me know what you guys think, but I really love the way this turned out. I'm definitely going to try this with other projects as well. Well, foiling has been so much fun to do. I am loving my laminator, and I know that you will too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this blog post. Thank you so much for watching this video.